I probably never told you guys, but uh, my mind is like a, a soundtrack, and I'm always doing something to music. And this morning when I'm running, a song's actually playing inside my headset, so it was easy to be on my mind. But, but um, the, 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 the chorus was, I just want to be, I just want to be successful. I just want to be, I just want to be successful. And man, how appropriate a song to come on while you're out here running on Big Run Saturday. I knocked down 3.8 miles. You can look down in my, if you're on my blog, I'll have the actual map down that I did, man. But um, how appropriate because all of this is a part of wanting to be successful and being not just wanting to be successful, but willing to pay the price. And I know for a fact that I'm not the only person who wants to have success or even a higher level of success in their lives, but I could be one of the few people who's willing to pay the price to make the sacrifice to bring that into their lives. So I got to ask you, what is it or what kind of success are you looking for? And more so than that, what are you willing to sacrifice? You know, my desire to be more successful or stronger than the back pain I was talking about some 12 weeks ago. My desire to be successful or stronger than the physical ailments that I have when I run even now. My desire to be successful or stronger than the pain from growing up that I still carry around in the back of my mind that I just know I'll never escape. I just learned how to better deal with it. You see, when you want to become something so bad, you got to be the place where nothing can stop you. And the thing about it is, is you have this ability as well as I do. We all got this ability. The thing that separates us is the way we perceive and understand things. It's our mindset. So I got to ask you, who do you see when you see yourself? You know, it's crazy. I've been dealing with weight issues for probably, let me throw it out there, 20 some, about 20 some years. Uh, and it's, it's bad now, you know, getting better, but it's bad now. But never once in my dreams when I've seen myself have I envisioned me as overweight. I've never dreamed myself as an overweight individual because that's not how I see myself. You have to understand <laughs> that I've got a, a, a rather high opinion of myself. That's how I'll put it. But a lot of that comes from having to be able to, to operate uh, in the places I grew up in. You know, you had to be able to defend yourself or... Or, or the community, not the community, but the mindset of your peers would crush you if you couldn't defend yourself. And I was at a place where even though people may have said things about me or made jokes on me, I always knew I was more than they could ever see. I always knew that. There's a picture, and maybe it's a good time for me to put that picture up. There's a picture I have of me, and I might have been four or five years old, and I'm wearing my uncle's old disco shirt, and I've just got the top button buttoned up here, and the rest is flailing behind my back. And that was my cape, because I was either Shazam or Superman or whoever the popular superhero was that day. But when I look at that picture, it makes me better understand where my mind was, guys, because I always believed I was supposed to be something special. I always believe I was supposed to be successful. And when you have that as one of your core beliefs, whether it developed at a young age or you need to develop that belief now, that's going to become your fuel. It becomes your fire. Because even when you compare weight loss to success or you, you throw that into the fray, you can't stand on a scale and necessarily see success. Sure, you can lose more weight, but if you got a hundred pounds, you gotta lose two pounds in some other respects. Doesn't impress you, doesn't impress me. But I know it's important, I know it's a part of the process. Okay. The thing about it is the, the, the physical isn't always evidence of what's really going on with you. The person that you see in the mirror is an evidence of the person that you really are. You know what I'm saying? So the only thing that we have to keep us going is our dreams. You know, without my dreams, I'd be nothing. And my dreams are the evidence of the things that I'm going to someday become, you know. And if you don't dream, I think you're lost. And if you, have, and if you don't have dreams, you better get some and get some fast. Because the only thing that's going to keep you grounded, the only thing that's going to keep you motivated, the only thing that's going to keep you pushing ahead, you know, when times get tough, when you start doubting yourself, when other people look at you funny and they don't believe what's going on, your dreams are the only thing that's going to fuel you, you know. That's all I got in my dreams. And nobody can take that away from me. 
all right so i just wanted to share that with you that's what's on my mind thank you once again for visiting my blog and hopefully i didn't till this too low you're looking at my chin <laughs> and not me talking but man you guys uh take care man keep pushing keep dreaming keep believing because dreams come true and if they do then why not dream big ones all right this is lou riley and as i always sign off with if you ever read the stuff i write on these blogs dreams mean work guys y'all take care see you in the next one there have been times in my life i've been wondering why still somehow i've